Hey, hope you're all well. Welcome back to Fundamental Simplified. Today I want to use ChatGPT and see if I can create a profitable AI strategy to trade gold. I am going to use the one minute chart because I want it to be a day trading strategy. Especially if I am working full time and I don't have time to trade. I chose gold because it is quite volatile. So there will be a lot of opportunities to buy and sell. There is potential to make a lot of money in a short space of time. If you have not already seen my one minute strategy on GBPUSD, then do go watch that video. If you do not know about ChatGPT. It is an AI bot that is really popular at the moment. You can ask it anything and it will be able to provide you with an answer. It is also very good at writing you an introduction on any topic, a storybook or even a resume. ChatGPT is very knowledgeable. It can even write you a code if you ask it to. I will say, this is only a drop in the ocean. It is not the finished product yet. But it will only get better and better. Okay. Let's get started. As you can see I am already on ChatGPT. I will ask if it can create me a simple trading strategy using an indicator. I will write something very simple. The more information you give it, the better the result will be. I will write. Build me a trading view pine script strategy. Using RSI. Once you have done that, it may take a few seconds to give you the relevant answer. As you can see, ChatGPT writes out a Pine script for the RSI indicator. Once it has written it all out, it will explain at the bottom what each parameter is or how the code works. You can pause the video and read this if you want to. I'll copy this code and then come back to trading view. I am already on the one minute chart on gold. And I would click on this arrow which is for the pine script. We can delete the current code. We won't need it. Then, paste in the code I copied from chat GPT. We will save the new pine script. Save it as RSI trading strategy. If you go to trading indicators. Go to my scripts and click on the RSI trading indicator I saved. Okay, something went wrong. Give me few seconds to see what went wrong. Okay sorted. So as you can see, we have the Pine script. Then when we come to the strategy tester. What you can see is on the one minute, it is showing you the strategy took a total of 87 closed trades. What we'll do is, we'll tweak it a little bit. Say, if we were trading a very big account and risking 1% per trade. So, after taking a total of 87 trades, we got a net profit of $5,923 and a 63% success rate. If you look at the three minute time frame, it's not as profitable after taking 72 trades. And it got a 62% win rate. Again, on the 5 minute chart, it is profitable. On a 15 minute, it is also profitable. So now what I'll do is, come back onto the 1 minute. I want to see if I can make the RSI indicator even more better. Hopefully, a few tweaks can make it a bit more better. Firstly, I want to look at the inputs. So, if you look at the RSI length, it is 14. The oversold at 30. And the overbought at 70. I want to tweak and play around with these values. But first, I want to ask ChatGPT. What is the best RSI length to use? So I'll come back here again on ChatGPT. And what I'll do, I'll say. Tell me what is the best RSI length to use. 
Now, it gives me an explanation of, of what RSI length is. You can read this in your own time. I can already see, ChatGPT has given me examples of other RSI lengths I could use, such as 7 or 9 periods. These are for shorter periods and will give more sensitive signals. Or if I wanted to work off a higher time frame, then I can look at 21 or 25 length periods. Now, because I am looking for a strategy on gold on the 1 minute time frame, I'll be using the shorter length periods. Like 7 or 9 length periods. Anyway, I will take some of this information from ChatGPT. Go back onto Trading View and start to play around with it. I'll delete 14 and put in 7 as my RSI length. And then save it. Replace the existing one. Okay. Something went wrong there. Give me few seconds to fix it. Okay, great. So we'll do it again. 7. Save it. My bad it's 17. So we'll just do that again. Save it. So now that we saved it. What we can do. We can test the tweak on the strategy tester. Now, on the overview in the strategy tester, it says 360 trades was taken, giving a net profit of $5,201. It got a percentage win rate of 65%. So, going back to the Pine script, let's try A9 as the RSI length. Save it again. If you go back to the strategy tester, it's given us a bit of a less net profit now, but the win rate is a bit more better. And that was taking 224 trades, which is less than with the 7 RSI length on. But I'm still not satisfied. I want to really test myself and be innovative. So let me play around with a few more numbers. Let me try something a bit more quicker. We'll try to save 5. OK, I'll save that. As you can see, it's been updated here. That's done. We'll go to the strategy tester and see how it performed. So it's not made a great difference. OK, let me think. So, what I can do here now is start looking at the oversold and overbought length inputs. So I want to see, if I was to put it at say, 20, buy it when it is oversold at 20. Let's see how that works or. Maybe even do something like this when overbought is at 60. OK if I do that, save it. And then go back to the strategy tester. So again, it's gone a bit more lower in net profit. Win rate percentage has also gone a bit more lower as well. If you want to also look at the 3 minute chart. It's a bit more profitable on a little higher time frame than the 1 minute. On the 5 minute chart, it is not profitable. On a 3 minute chart, it's got a 63% win rate. And on a 1 minute chart, it's got a 62% win rate. So, okay, we want to maybe tweak it a little bit more. Let me think. Let's try something like, if I was to leave this at 20. And then 20 for oversold and 60 for overbought. Let's see how this works. I'll save it and go back into the strategy tester. So it has significantly changed. And it's got a 100% win rate. Although, I am making less money. But it made $671 only taking 2 trades. Wow, look at that, 6 trades and it made $4,596. With the success rate at 66%. It's not great on the 5 or 15 minute chart. Because I want this indicator to work on a lower time frame. I only want to be tweaking the parameters that is profitable on the 1 or 3 minute time frame. So, I am not too worried about the 5 or 15 minute time frame. Okay, I'm thinking. If I was to tweak it one more time, maybe I can hit that sweet spot. I will keep the RSI length as 20 as it seems to work well. 
I need to tweak the input for the oversold and overbought parameters a little. Maybe, I can put them up a bit more. So, if I put it by 5 so that's 25 and then 65. Save that. So that's done now. One last time go back to the strategy tester. Damn, look at this now. The percentage win rate has gone up considerably. It is now at 77%. Only taking 18 trades, it made $4,174. On the 3 minute chart. It's not got a high percentage win rate as the 1 minute chart. But it has taken less trades to make $5,060 which is very good. I look at the 5 minute chart now, not profitable. 15 minutes chart, not profitable. On the 30 minute chart is profitable. If I was to use these parameters on a higher time frame and aim to take less trades. Because the lower time frames were giving too many signals. Then it would have been profitable at 69% win rate. 45 minutes chart, is also profitable. On the 1 hour, is also profitable. Let's take a look on the 4 hour chart. Wow, take a look at this. The tweaks I made would have made $32,376. That was made by taking only 28 trades and the percentage win rate was 78%. That's how much I could have made in one month. So, the best two times to trade these parameters in my opinion would be on the 4 hour with a 78% strike rate or the 1 minute with a 77% strike rate. You got 18 trades that could have made you $4,174. Or I can go on to 4 hour where its percentage win rate is higher at 78%. In a month, if I was to take 28 trades, I would have made a lot of money. So, this is the new parameters I will keep. I am happy with that. I've actually been able to create a strategy on gold by using chat GPT and the RSI indicator. You can see the performance of how well it did for yourself. It's actually pretty cool. So, chat GPT has actually been able to assist me in creating a day trading indicator that seems to have actually worked. So, if you found some value in this video, please subscribe, like and share. That is all I ask from you. I am giving this level of information out for free as well as, giving you these parameters for free. You subscribing, liking and sharing goes a long way. You know, the value of information I'm giving is it for free. Whereas other people might charge you for the parameter or maybe even the information I share on my channel. If you have not already, please do check out my last video on my one minute day trading strategy. There's a lot of nuggets in there. Until next time, take care.